That's a drone laying queen. You can't tell by looking at her, but you have to look at her pattern and then to sure her hive is not in the right order. If you look a little closer, she does seem to have a little bit of a wing action thing going, but I'm not sure if that was before or after she took her flight and didn't get mated well. Definitely got mated, but not good enough. So when pulling frames, this is all worker size comb, but it's got drone being made in it. You can see that it's oversized and they're letting some grow out. But the fact is, this actual little nuke did not have an oversupply of drones. Sometimes you'll see that because they actually feed them, cap them, and let them emerge. This one hasn't let them emerge just yet. But I, you know, it caught it within the month. Shit. Sorry, girls. Sorry, 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 sorry. You might actually mistake it as a laying worker because they also produce drones. But here, you can see, yes, she double laid eggs. There's a few frames where she laid on the sides of the walls. That one's not exactly, that one's not beautiful, but not bad, but it's a little bit off. And then she was laying doubles. They're trying to build a queen cell because they didn't like her. They knew something was wrong, but they can't even do that because she was not laying workers to build a queen with. In this section here, more eggs. But you can't tell from the egg that it's going to be a drone. You have to start looking at the larva and then the capping. And you can see they became bullet shaped. Way too big. So what's what are you gonna do? Well what you gotta do. Unfortunately, the only way to take care of this is to dispatch the queen and put in a laying queen. What the good thing part of this is, is that it's not a laying worker. Laying worker is much harder to take care of. This has a queen, an actual queen. So you know which one it is, you know who the problem is, you have to take her out. Take her out, dispatch her, whatever your method is. And then get a laying queen in there. In this actual nuke, I have a side by side. So all I have to do is take out the divider. There, this side's laying, that side had the drone layer. So I'm just gonna open it up and let them get back to work. Why does a drone, a, lay, a laying queen become a drone layer? And there's a number of reasons. This is in my mating yard, so that means to, says to me that she just never got mated well. She was maybe one of those that took a long time. And some of the science says that if they t the longer they take to go out and fly, the harder it is for them to mate or get mated well. Maybe she wasn't even, you know, maybe she wasn't a party girl. She was more 
a one girl kind of queen. That's not good enough. It won't last. It didn't last the season. When I put her in this here, she was laying. That's why she even has a population at all. But those fertilized eggs ran out. So you're going to have to either merge the hives or buy a queen or just dump the hive because it's not going to survive. They have no eggs left to make a laying queen with. They're all drone, which means they're unfertilized. So if you have a laying queen, count yourself lucky it's not a laying worker. Take her out and do the right thing. Until next time, happy beekeeping.